Now we want to talk about the effects of uh, shading and the reduction of yield production if uh, parts of a module or of the cells of a PV modules are covered um, due to obstacles which are close to the modules. What you can see here in these uh, four examples are typical situations which might uh, uh, that, that, that we get shadows. Uh, first of all, if you have this ground mounted systems, you see this uh, shadows from the front row. Um, the elevation angle of the sun is rather small, so we get these uh, shadow on the back row of the modules. Second situation is here, PV system uh, and uh, wind turbines installed close. And you see here the shadow of the rotor blades of uh, wind turbine, which is standing in front of these uh, of this row of PV modules, and uh, this shadow is moving across the modules and reduces the energy production capacity. Next example, which might occur regularly if you have ground mounted system and no one is taking care about landscape maintenance, that you see that you have these. Uh, uh, plants which are growing and then you get uh, shadows the plants are covering the cells that they can get uh, solar radiation and finally what is uh, very often occurring um, if you have rooftop systems is uh, that we have antennas for example or chimneys and uh, you get a shadow of this obstacle on the module and this might uh, interfere the yield production of the module um, and reduces the energy production capacity. Now let's start with the first uh, concept. Um, so what do we have? Let's, let's say that we have two cells which are connected in series. So we have one cell and a second cell. And now uh, let's consider that this shell is, uh, the, the, this cell is unshaded, so there is no shadow. So that's the um, unshaded cell. Let's, let's mark this one in green. And uh, the second cell is shaded. So that means there might be an obstacle like a leaf, for example, so that a leaf is covering uh, this, this cell. And now the question is, what is uh, the resulting RV characteristic of this uh, two cells which are connected in series? So what we know is, of course, the current running through these cells must be the same. And what we know is that the voltage uh, of these uh, cells is, is, is summed. So what do we get? Let's, let's make a sketch. So we have the IV curve. So that's the current and then we have the voltage. Um, and now let's think about this is this is the unshaded cell. So let's draw this in green. So that is the ISC of our own unshaded cell. And uh, this is UOC, and that's that's the IV characteristic of our unshaded cell. On the other hand, um, how does our shaded cell might look like? So let's think about that. Uh, this unshaded cell has an IC, which is of course smaller due to the uh, coverage by this uh, leaf. So that's ISC of our unshaded cell. And uh, this is UOC of our shaded cell. So that's that's the IV characteristic. And what we'll need is that we have to add this part of the IV characteristic that we have even a negative voltages. And now what we want to take a look at is how does the uh, IV characteristic of our small uh, system with two cells in series looks like. So first of all, of course, we can derive what is the open circuit voltage of these two cells. Of course, this is uh, over here as uh, the UOC is the sum of um, the UOC of the unshaded cell plus the UOC of the shaded cell. So that's S and U is shaded and unshaded. Uh, so that, that's um, clear as we have an 
interconnection of the cells in parallel, so the voltage must uh, increase. But the question is now, what's about uh, the short circuit current? So what we can think about is, uh, well, let, let's make first two assumptions. Is ISC over there, that uh, the ISC of the system is uh, equal to ISC of the unshaded cell, or on the other hand, is ISC uh, of the IC of the shaded cell. So let's let's think about if this is possible. If ISC would be um, the IC of the of the unshaded cell. So that's U, and let's add this. That's uh, S, and now we will check this. So if the uh, ISC of this system would be this value. So what does it mean? It it, it means that the voltage U is zero. So ISC means we have a short circuit. Uh, so we just connect these cells, the cable, and the overall voltage is zero. Um, so in this case, um, is, is can this be true? Uh, let's check this, this quickly. So we know that the current um, which is running through both cells must be the same. So if I, the current is ISC of the unshaded cell, then of course the uh, shaded cell must run at the same level. And what does this mean in our case? In our case means if you uh, keep in mind how the IV curve uh, of, a, of a diet looks like, um, the cell current goes up if we break our diet so that's very far away with a highly negative voltage of course so that's uh, that's a break and a highly negative voltage um, and in this case you see here um, that would be the resulting voltage so that is rather very very negative um, and in total of course we would have a negative voltage in this shaded cell and no voltage in our unshaded cell that gives us in total the sum would be not equal to zero so that it's not possible that the isc is the the ic of the unshaded cell is the current running through our system on the other hand uh, is it possible that uh, the current is over there that the current running through our system is the uh, short circuit current of the shaded cell so this of course uh, would mean um, that this uh, shaded cell which is running on the same value should be over there so that should be the um, the value um, so in this case of course the open sh the, the, the voltage of the unshaded cell would be positive. Um, both cells are running on the same current. The unshaded, the, the unshaded cell runs with a positive voltage. So overall zero plus a positive value gives us a value which is of course not zero. So that is again not possible. So you see both values aren't correct, but the the, the, the current running through our system must be between these two uh, limits, so between the uh, short circuit current of the shaded cell and the short current circuit uh, current of the unshaded cell, um, and so there must be a third option. So let's get rid of the black curves and have a quick look what is the situation we are facing. So. Uh, what we know is that the um, the voltage is zero, so that means that the voltage, or what does it mean in our short circuit, uh, the voltage of the unshaded cell might be positive and the voltage of our shaded cell might be negative. So that, 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 that's the idea and the current lies between these two um, limits. So we, we need to uh, identify this point where the voltage of the shaded cell and the um, unshaded cell gives us uh, zero. And what you could do is uh, you can just flip around this uh, this uh, red uh, characteristic uh, and flip it at the y-axis. So let's do this quickly. We have here, this is the 
uh, UOC flipped uh, on the other side, and then we have this. This would be the characteristic which is flipped, and then we have the very slight increase, uh, and so on, and far away, very far away, there might be this increase of the IV characteristic. And what you can see is now these two uh, characteristics meet at this at this point. So that is the point where the uh, current is uh, the same of uh, the shaded and un unshaded cell, um, but uh, the voltages have a different sign. So in our case, uh, the this is the position of, or the, this is the voltage of the unshaded cell, which is positive. And of course, due to this flipping of this curve, um, the voltage of the unshaded cell is have the same value, but the the, the other sign of the voltage, so that's a negative voltage. And this is the, the current over there. That's the current, which is, Let's use a dash line. That's the current which is running through our system. So that's ISC, the short circuit current uh, running through both cells. So the green unshaded cell runs at a lower uh, short circuit current, but the red curve, the shaded cell runs, you see here, if you have this unflipped value, we are somewhere here. Of course, this red curve increases slightly, so we have a positive uh, charge. So that I think that I need to correct this slightly to show this in a better way. There's the slight increase of this, so somewhere like this. And we have uh, this value somewhere here. Uh, with a negative voltage of this of this UOC, of course, this with which, which, which is the same. So uh, that gives us the IV curve. We now know the ISC. We know the uh, the UOC that's over there, and that is the IV curve we get. That's something like this. Something like this, and that is the IV characteristic of our. A system with a shaded and unshaded cell. So you see it, it, it differs from the previous situation. Uh, we have a change in the voltage and of course on the change in the current. And what is very important is that the, the red curve, so the uh, the shaded cell operates in a negative voltage. So that's, uh, this, this voltage is negative and the current is positive. That gives us of course a power Power is U times I, which is negative. So that's that's the issue. The, the unshaded cell has a positive voltage and a positive current. So the power of of the unshaded cell is positive. So th this is the cell which is generating power. But the power of our shaded cell, that power is negative. So this cell is consuming power. And that means, of course, the cell is heating up. And um, that might be a problem uh, if the cell is uh, heating up because that might lead to hot spots or uh, damaging the modules under uh, extreme conditions. Um, but first of all, the shaded cell consumes energy, uh, which is generated by the unshaded cell. Um, and that is, of course, nothing we want because uh, we, we do not want that uh, part of the module that, that cells are consuming the energy which is generated by the other cells uh, because that reduces the, the energy and the yield we can use uh, coming from our system. So now after talking about a uh, uh, system in series with this unshaded and shaded cell with the forward bias of this unshaded cell and this shaded cell which is running in re reverse bias, so consuming um, energy, let's think about the situation if we have two cells which are connected in parallel. What is the, the IV characteristic in this case? So um, this situation we have one cell and second cell which are connected in parallel. And now let's think about what is the, what is happening. This is our unshaded cell. And the other cell on the right hand side, that is the shaded cell. So what is the IV curve in this case? So again, 
let's draw this diagram. We have uh, the situation, we have current and we have the voltage and the, the recurve of our unshaded cell. Let's say something like this with the ISC over there and the UOC somewhere here. So that is the OE curve of our unshaded cell. And then add the IV characteristic of our shaded cell. So that is ISC shaded and somewhere here is the UOC, the open circuit voltage of our shaded cell UOC shaded. And now let's think about what is the IV characteristic we get. In this case, what we know of course is that the voltage uh, of this uh, system um, is um, must be between these uh, these two values. What we also know is we have now interconnection in, in, in parallel. So we know that the uh, current is increasing, that this, this current um, of this cell is, this, this is the sum of both uh, currents in, in both cells. And uh, of course the voltage which is um, in the system must be the same in both cells. So we have to derive what is the voltage of the system, what is the IV characteristic we get. So first of all we can add the short circuit current uh, of our system with these uh, two cells uh, interconnected in parallel because we know that the current is the sum of um, each current of both cells. So we get this value ISC that is just um, the current of this cell plus the short circuit current of the second cell and that gives us of course uh, this this ISC of the of the system as the sum of of both so the um, the sum SC of the unshaded cell plus the short circuit current of this shaded cell that's that's simple now of course uh, the second question is what is the open circuit voltage uh, in our case so it must be uh, between these two uh, limits it, the voltage cannot be uh, this value of the unshaded cell it cannot be the uh, open circuit voltage of the shaded cell so it must be somewhere between so again let's let's think about where does it um, with the open circuit voltage uh, what we know is at this point the current is zero so we don't have any current flow and um, that is that's important. So what we can do is uh, let's add or that's the the V curve uh, in the situation if the current would be negative. So add this this part. And what we can now do is we can uh, we can flip again the the characteristic of uh, the shaded cell. Now what we do is we flip this at the x-axis. So what we get is something like this, that we have this situation that is the flipped uh, weak characteristic somewhere here. And both characteristics meet at this over there, that this is the UOC, um, because what we know is that, let's, let's add this this way, um, that the that the current of both characteristic mass or the sum of both currents at this uh, UOC must be uh, must be zero. So let's let's do this this way. That's something like this. So what we get is we have the current on the one hand uh, of the green characteristic. That's a positive value, and on the other hand, that is the same. A value with a with a negative uh, sign. So overall, the total uh, current is uh, zero. That must be the condition for the open circuit voltage. And now we know that this is that is UOC. And then what we get is the IV characteristic of this system, uh, which has this this characteristic, looking something like this. So again, we have a change of our IV characteristic. 
as one shell is uh, running um, shaded, so that is a leaf covering this cell. And uh, what does this mean? Of course, uh, again, this, this uh, shaded cell runs um, with a negative power, so the, the shell is consuming uh, power. Um, so this the shaded cell is producing power, so the power is uh, positive. We generate electricity, but the shaded cell, of course, uh, if we are on this blue IV characteristic, um, that shaded cell runs with a negative power, so the power that is u times i that is smaller than zero. So again, the cell is uh, is consuming the power, and of course, what is happening? We, the, the cell is heating up um, to to consume the power, and that is of course again something what we don't want that the power which is generated by the unshaded cell. Uh, is consumed by other cell and uh, that we don't get the energy uh, from our system uh, as this, the, the energy is consumed within this in this small system.